In this tutorial, I'll show you how to twist a mesh without using a modifier nor add-on. Basically, we'll be rotating a multiple segments of the mesh little by little, in order to give an illusion of twist. Let's begin. There's a modifier that gives a similar effect and that modifier is called the screw modifier. But it fails to deliver the twist effect we're looking for. The basic idea is to divide a mesh with a loop cut and rotate the mesh face by face, or edge by edge. If we only have three segments, that would be okay, but what if we had thousands of segments? I'll show you an example. Let's make a lot of loop cuts. What we need to do is selecting the top face and activating a proportional editing feature. If we increase the area of effect by using the mouse wheel and start rotating, then we'll be able to twist the entire mesh like this. Let's model and render a simple ribbon scene. We need to use a plane, scale it and subdivide it. Let's add a lot of loop cuts with Ctrl R and start rotating the mesh. We can add an array and duplicate the ribbon mesh like this. Let's switch to the Cycles Renderer. As you can see our scene looks too dim. It's got the blue color, but that's too light. We can add an ambient occlusion, but that won't do much here. Let's do the rest of the usual render setup with the Cycles Renderer, Filmic, Curves, Denoise and 128 samples. If we preview the render, you'll notice the entire scene looks too dim.
We also need a shadow in the scene. Let's add a new light source. We can test with the light settings and you'll notice it's not working so well. Let's denoise and render the scene. I'll show you how to use Photoshop to fully enhance this final render image's color settings. Let's open this render image in Photoshop. Please go to Image and Auto Contrast. Look at the difference. Let's go to Hue, Saturation and adjust the settings. This is why we need an external application like Photoshop to enhance our final render. We can do the same thing with Blender's composite feature, but that takes too long compared to what we've just done in Photoshop. This is the end of the twist tutorial. Please like and subscribe, if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.